Hi everyone, it's Cheryl. Welcome to my channel again today on a Monday. Uh, I hope that uh, all of you have had a good weekend. Um, I've been praying for everyone out there who has, uh, you know, the has to stay in because that's what we're having to do now. And for those of you that have had family and friends that have gotten very sick, I'm praying for them. I'm praying for my family and and friends on the West Coast. I have family in Washington and I have family in Oregon and I have family in California and I'm praying for all of you and all of those that were having my friends for so many years. I, I hope and pray that you will be well too and that your family won't be part of this um, terrible, terrible virus that we see going around right now. Well, anyway, because of having to quarantine as they call it and or stay in and stay away from everyone is what we're doing uh, i have begun to crochet something different for for me anyway because i've made three sweaters off of a patterns from bag of day um, secret yarnery and i believe those are the only two that i have used their patterns and i love their patterns but i decided i wanted to do just something different because i wanted to do something just my way without having to look up anything or try anything and i'm hoping it turns out i have this um beautiful green yarn this is from hobby um yarn company and it is absolutely gorgeous and so i started this one out with uh a chain of 70 73 I uh, went down and skipped the first three chains and uh, went into the fourth one. So I have 69 stitches on my uh, on the hook to use. And I've gone from using all double crochets for the first four rows to oh, sure. on the fifth row, I began to do a V stitch in every other stitch. And I began, oh. I've been doing that all the way across and it has been just fun. It's, it's easy to do. I still have a lot of yarn. I have one of these great big We Love Yarns. It's acrylic, but it's very soft. Uh, and so that's that's where I'm at still. I'm still doing hats for uh, Hat Not Hate. I hope you can get some of your friends who crochet, those who knit, uh, those who weave on knitting machines, whatever you have, to begin to be a part of that organization. It is a, it's a great thing to have someone giving out Boggins to kids and Boggins is what we call them here in the South uh, for uh, next year to help them learn not to not to bully. Bullying has gotten beyond beyond reason anymore. You can get bullied for just turning around and looking funny and that's not not how we're going to do it anymore. So if you'd like to participate in that and my little dog's over here talking and better shush because he doesn't have anything else to say and the big dog's barking outside. But uh I apologize for that, but that's what they do sometimes. And then I had some yarn. Shut. Hey, shut. No. I had some yarn delivered today. It's a Lion uh, brand yarn, basic stitch, and it is an acrylic. It's their premium. It's not a very big, but it's a number four weight. Um, and I'm going to be using it on a hat. I had run out of blue to use on hats except for navy blue and so i really like this color and um, i'm going to use this for some more of the hats for hat not hate uh, it has to be blue remember that please it has to be at least 75 percent blue so you might as well just do a blue hat um, there are many many patterns for that and go on youtube and find them it's it's very simple it's free most of the time the patterns that are on there are free they are tutorials they teach you how to do the stitches how to work the the pattern uh it makes it a wonderful time but also i wanted you to know that in the next few days i'm going to pull out some of the uh, musical instruments in our home we have a piano that was given to us um I used to play piano a long time ago. I finally learned how when I was in my, what, I don't know, 40s maybe. Uh, and I learned to play piano there. And then uh, then I wanted to learn guitar. And I had tried to learn guitar. And, excuse me. They're barking. Buster. Buster. 
come, excuse me for the bar. Get up here now. Come on. Up. Go here. Come on. You have no more bar. Quiet. Anyway, uh, I learned to play guitar about 15, 16 years ago, and I was playing with teaching youth group to play, and they some of them knew how, but most of them didn't. And we had a blast uh, on Wednesday nights as we study. We also played uh, uh, songs, and I learned how to play, and they, they played too, and we played our specials on Sundays, and it was just amazing, but it's been a long time since I've played. I also have a dulcimer, and uh, if you've never seen one, I'll show you that tomorrow or the next day, I hope. Um, it ha every time I tune it, it gets out of tune because it's a uh, very fine, lightweight wood and it's it's beautiful. But I have that because it's not as hard on your fingers. I mean, as you, you use a, a, a dowel, a round, well sandpapered, smooth dowel on the t to do your chords and just strum it, and it's nice. I have. Uh, ukulele that I've never tried yet. I have um, and now an uh, auto harp type harp for the table that you can use and my grandkids love music and especially my one that has autism. She sings, she loves to sing and she loves anything that is musical. So I'll be getting those out to show you how sometimes that's what I do. I, If my hands are hurting too badly, I still have something I do that's that gives me comfort and strength and right now i think we all need some comfort and strength i know the west coast has been hit very hard with this illness uh, many places around us have already been hit and our illnesses are doubling and tripling and it's scary but not as much scary as sad we just need to keep believing Keep doing what they ask us to do. Stay out away from people the best we can. And um, it'll work out the way it works out, just like anything else in this in this world. We don't control all of it. But we would like to, I know, but that doesn't happen. But I hope you've had a good weekend, and I hope things have gone well. I also want to show you uh, the yarn that came in uh, the new knit crate this month. Um, this is the yarn. It is a really fine, fine yarn, as you can see there. See, this is very fine, not much to it. Uh, it's soft as everything. This is a light alpaca uh, wool. It's a uh, finger weight. It uses a size three crochet hook. Um, it, you have to wash by hand and lay flat to dry. But it's just, it's a pretty color for the spring, for the summer. Uh, so I hope to put that together with some things. And this is the uh, the book that came with it. Every time we get a book that comes with it with patterns in it, I like that. We have patterns to knit. We have patterns to crochet. Uh, and it makes it fun because those are the socks that they make uh, with crochet. A lot of the patterns are a little bit beyond my ability, but I'm willing to try them just to see what I can do. It, it stretches my brain, and that's kind of okay. Anyway, uh, I just wanted you to see that. I have enjoyed the Knit Crate uh, because I get the yarn once a month and a book of, of uh, patterns, and also they send little tiny uh, sweet things along with it. This time they sent the chips that go on the, back, on the ends of crochet hooks, I mean, not crochet hooks, but knitting needles to keep them in place and, and some stitch markers. And that's really sweet. That's nice. Uh, well, anyway, that's where I'm at today. I am not uh, going to push myself too much because I'm, I do have a slight cold and I'm just not going to risk it. And uh, I'm just going to feel my way through this this week and see how things work out. Uh, I won't be traveling like we had hoped to Illinois to see my son uh, retire, but he's promised that he will have a very small ceremony because they can't have anybody else on the base, but just a few. And uh, he will do it live on Facebook or something like that. And so that's good. I can at least see it. I cried the other night when he called and I was afraid that's what he was going to tell me. 
but it's been a good thing for him. Uh, he'll be living in Detroit, uh, which put him about an hour from his own little son, and that's what he wants. He wants to be by Liam, and I appreciate that because Liam's a special kid, an absolute special kid. And I just thank you all for watching today. I don't, I don't doubt that right now we're all hurting a little more than we should because of stress. We're hurting a little more than we should because we're probably overdoing because it's beginning to be spring in a lot of places. And we start to, you know, think about gardening and we think about our trees and our lawns and, and ours needs to be mowed. But right now it's too wet. The lawnmower is saying so clear. We're going to wait another week or two on that one. But just be blessed know that I am truly, truly praying for all of you. All of us who have autoimmune dis diseases, we know it's rough when things like this go through and we have to follow the rules of washing our hands for 20 seconds with using hand sanitizer, with cleaning our own homes with things that will kill germs. I hope you have that available. I hope you have someone to be there with. I hope you have someone to watch over you, to be concerned about you. Um, if you have somebody, don't have anybody that you feel you can talk to right now about how you feel or what's going on, go down below and uh, in the comment section and just leave me a comment. I'd love it. I'd, I'd, I'd write back to you. I'd answer. Um, also, please, if you're watching this for the first time, go down below and hit the subscribe button. It's the red thing that says subscribe and then hit the bell next to it so you'll receive, uh, on your phone, your tablet, uh, your computer, on a little bell notice if it, uh, when I post another one, it won't make any noise, but you'll see it if you're on your phone or your computer very often during the day, which most of us are. So uh, please, I'd love it if you would subscribe, leave me some information, talk to me about things that you need to talk about. Uh, I'm here for that. That's, I think, why. Uh, the Lord put me on this on this earth was to to listen to people, uh, to reach out and let them know that they're not alone. And I I know what it is to be alone. I know what it is to feel disappointed. I know what it is to feel broken. But I also know what it feels like to have just one person care about me. And I know what it's like to keep the faith even during the bad times because there was a time in my life when I didn't believe any Christian was honest. Uh, I have been very disappointed by some Christians that I have trusted and um, the first real Christians I knew besides just, you know, in school once in a while talking about church and stuff and I was broken and it took me a while to work past that and thank the Lord I did. So if you're broken, if you're in need of just someone to yell at, someone to talk to, someone that won't repeat what you said to anyone else, I'm here. I would love to hear from you. I will pray for all of you. Uh, even if you don't believe in God, that's between you and you. But I will pray for you. I will trust him to hear my prayers on behalf of all of us. And I ask today that you just know that somebody's here during this hard time for us all. Uh, and I'm thinking of you daily as I crochet each stitch. There's a slight prayer that goes out uh, for all of us. And uh, I just pray today that you will be okay. Excuse me, my mouth is dry again. I, I forgot to drink before I started talking. So, but have a blessed day. I hope you will be well. I hope that you will not end up having to have hospitalization. But as we know, with our illnesses, it puts us at risk. But we're going to trust that we will be given the right encouragement, the right wisdom uh, to keep from getting sick if we can. So have a blessed day, like I've said a thousand times to you today. Uh, have a great week. I will hopefully be back with another uh, video. 
um, by Wednesday, if nothing goes crazy here. And uh, I will show you, hopefully, the sweater that should be further along than it is right now, because this is just the back of it, but I'm getting close. So um, just hang in there today. Smile. Laugh at somebody. I told you you could laugh at me if you want. That's fine. You could get mad at me if you want. That's fine. But just don't sit and feel alone and overwhelmed by yourself. No, I'm here. And I'm going to go with smile and have a good day, even though I've hurt my hand today, hurt my shoulder yesterday. <laughs> but that's part of it. So I'm still going to laugh about it. I'm still going to do what I can do. So I'll see you later, and I hope you come back and check on me soon. Bye now.